Hey everyone, Derry App John Llewellyn Davis, aka The Strategy Man, best selling author, speaker, and founder of Business Growth International and Strategy on a Page. So, welcome to this blog. This is Are You Sweating Your Assets? Now, what does that mean, Derry? Now, some of you are kind of, you get that because it's a good old business term. I used to use it many years ago, very much come out of the manufacturing industry, which is about are you really sweating your assets, the assets that you currently own? And usually this is about machinery and buildings and all that kind of physical stuff. Are you really using it? Are you using it fully? Are you sweating your assets? Hence me sitting in a sauna with the three piece suit. And believe me, we had some weird looks when we did that one. And yes, I did wreck my suit shortly afterwards in the pool, but that's a different blog. So what does sweating your assets mean to, you, to everybody in the world? Let's just break out what this means in asset terms. So firstly, what are your assets? So let's just take the, the three main groups of assets in this, in this terminology. First one, buildings. If you own a building, or you are using or renting a large space, you want to be really sweating that space, getting the most out of it, because you're already paying it, it's a fixed cost. So I'll give you an example of a clients of mine who have cafes, cafe slash restaurants, and they've got that space, they're paying the rent if you like it or not. So if you just decide to do dinner menu, then that's fine. But maybe if you can do breakfast, lunch and dinner, you've already paid for the rent on one of them. So you may as well sweat the assets through the rest of the time. So leveraging building capacity is a huge one. If you've got a space, can you use it more? Can you use it during the evenings? Can you use it during the mornings? Um, can, you can start to see when you see pubs and bars and all the rest of it doing breakfasts and all the rest of it. What they're doing, they've already paid for the, for the rent and everything else. Anything else they do on top of that is just profit. And that's what sweating your assets is. You'll get to a point with assets where anything on top of that is just profit. The next piece of sweating assets is more like machinery. If you're buying a large, expensive piece of kit, you really want to use it. Like I am right now in front of this camera. You wouldn't believe the amount of kit we've got here with the cameras and the stuff on top of it and the, and the fancy bells and whistles and the lights and ooh, and everything else going on. So why have we invested in all that? Because we're going to use it a lot. We're using it a lot filming, we're filming all the time. So we're sweating the assets of the technology we're buying. If I see this with a large um, client of mine is into the printing in a big way. So they have these massive printing machines. Now, if you've got a massive printing machine, you want that printing all the time. And the more it's, if it's just sitting there and using it on a Thursday afternoon at four o'clock, then you're not sweating the assets properly. So think about any big bits of kit you're buying, any really big expensive pieces of machinery. Before you make it, you've got to make sure you're sweating it properly and you're going to use it. Because I think a lot of people buy expensive toys and kit without thinking through the full optimization because it might make sense that you rent it before you buy it. Um, now we did a lot of that with our video work. We actually hired in videos for a long, long time until we knew that we were absolutely getting the capacity out of it when it made sense to buy our own. The, now the more, less obvious side of assets is in the service industry, which is people. For a lot of us out there, including my own company, people is my biggest asset. And for you, if, if you're in the service industry, people are your biggest asset. Now, are you sweating your people assets? Now, this isn't about slave driving them and smashing them, smashing them to the, to the grindstone and making them do all the work. No, no, this is about are you maximizing the capacity of these people? And if so, maybe you need to be hiring. This really links strongly into people strategy. Now, there's lots of good things you can do about this, but uh, giving you a couple of examples, a web design agency I work with, a marketing agency I work with, etc. They're all having lots of projects with lots of people working on those different projects. How do you know if your staff are full? Because they tell you they're full. How do you know where they're spending their time? And therefore, if they're spending the time on project A, B or C, how do you know which one of those projects are profitable? Now, this comes into operation strategy and system strategy. Now, I'm just gonna give you a quick example on this. We can, we can give you more um, examples on the feed below, but just stream time is a really good tool out there. Stream time, we'll give you the links below. But that's a really good resource for creatives and people in the operational space, etc. for putting in ops and managing time of your people. That's just one resource, there's lots of others like it out there. So what I want you to think about tonight, today is how are you measuring your assets? And are you really sweating your assets? If not, why not? And also then start thinking about the future. 
So think about how you could sweat your assets more because that's really equals profitability if you get it right. And also think forward into how can you sweat them more into the future. This will help you in your recruitment decisions. Do you need to recruit more in advance? When should you purchase versus hire? It impacts a lot of decisions around business. So there you go. Are you sweating your assets? Ask yourself some tough questions and drive your strategy forward with strategy on a page. See you in the next one.